All right, say you've written the list and gone to the store, but you quickly start buying things that you didn't plan on. After all, fresh produce would be nice. And these look good. Half off? Why not? Wait, why is it so hard to stick to a shopping list? Researchers estimate that half of consumer spending is unplanned. Sometimes it's stuff you just forgot to put on your list, but there's another kind of purchase that consumer psychologists measure. And that would be more of your impulse purchase where you see something, you think, hey, that's kind of a cool item. I think I'll you know, buy that. The architecture of a store can impact consumer satisfaction, which in turn might spur impulse buys. In the 20th century, the architect Victor Gruen used light and space to dramatically stage goods in storefront windows. His designs tried to capture the attention of passers-by and convert them into customers. Today, people refer to this as the Gruen effect. It happens when a store takes you from shopping for a specific item to shopping for shopping's sake. It's about the mindset and the environment that they try to create. Well, does this sound familiar? Think about your last trip to an Ikea. They have the restaurant with the, you know, the Swedish meatballs and all this stuff. Um, and that's not a coincidence. I mean, you're trying to build excitement because when people are excited and aroused, they're more likely to buy. Almost 20% of our buying decisions are based on logic and needs. 80% of our buying decisions are actually based on emotions. And we try to make that connection or bridge that connection. Of course, we are retailers, so we try to uh, make sure that you, you know, grab a, a, thing, a thing or two. So my name is Richard Lagrand. I'm the creative director for IKEA here in the US. Which is an important job. He's in charge of how the products are presented in the store. That includes layout. Retailers pay close attention to how their floor plan can change in-store behavior. Grid layouts emphasize speed and convenience. Or freeform layouts allow exploration, which can make customers visit more parts of the shop. And racetrack designs create a loop that exposes customers to a certain path of product. IKEA uses a fixed path through a maze of product displays, and that can extend the distance traveled in-store so the more you travel, the more items, by definition, as a shopper, you are going to be exposed to. At the entrance, most customers would be drawn to a bright yellow bin of bags placed next to the escalator. Spots of light guide your eye to the entrance of the showroom. And before you know it, you're taking the scenic route. So with light, you can actually steer consumers towards the different areas and towards different uh, product selections. On average, customers only visit about a third of a retailer's floor area, and IKEA's layout forces customers to cover more ground. IKEA was always designed as a place where you can see, touch and try, you know? um, uh, so they can spend hours if they want to. Uh, but there's also consumers that know exactly what they want and they just want to have it quick. So it, it tailors to, to both. One researcher in London surveyed an IKEA to hand draw these pedestrian pathways. This heat map of the showroom was generated using her data. It looks like the path guides are working. Where Victor Gruen simply used a hunch to invent window shopping, virtually any store from IKEA to your local grocery has a trove of big data at their fingertips. We used uh, technology to measure actually the flow of consumers and where they're interested in and in which areas they are uh, intend to go. Uh, and that works all based on, on uh, beacon technologies which means retailers like IKEA will only get better at nudging you to spend time in more parts of the store. So, compulsive shoppers, the next time you go to the store, consider taking the shortcut. Or at least, don't forget what you came here for. Because it probably wasn't plants and a plate of meatballs. You do you, though. Hi there, thanks for watching The Goods, and a big thanks to our sponsor, American Express. Amex has a credit card feature that gives you choices for how to make payments big or small called Pay It Planet. Pay It helps you reduce your balance by making small payments throughout the month. And Planet can help you split purchases over $100 up over time. You can check it out at americanexpress.com slash payitplanet. And thanks again to American Express. Their support made this series possible.